Good afternoon, oil traders. It is 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time here on the East Coast, North America. We've still got about uh, just four, 38 minutes left in trading here, um, but it doesn't look like we're going to make much more of a move. Um, if I go to the 15-minute chart here, you can see that we've sort of made a valiant effort to get back to 49, but it was rejected, and we've fallen back to 48 and three quarters, and it's more than likely that we're going to close right around there. Um, my uh, short sale from yesterday was at 48.45, um, and I still have a 48.40 short um, that I did not sell yesterday. Uh, it would have been a, a tiny, tiny loss if I had, um, but simply to free up the money. Um, of course, given the fact that we've gone up, it would have been a good move. But anyway, um, I'm still holding that short position if we do happen to fall. If we do keep going up, then I'll be looking for above 49 before I repurchase that short. Um, 48 and three quarters is just not attractive enough. Uh, it's not enough of a gap over my 48.40 short position to really um, kind of add to my strategic uh, shorts. So that's, that's going to be my minimum target, kind of above 49 before I repurchase that short, which of course would be lower than where I had originally bought it at 49.55. So I am being a little bit more aggressive because I am a bear and I will remain a bear for the foreseeable future, which might be not that long, <laughs> we'll see. Um, but uh, if we drop instead, then I'll be looking to sell more of my shorts beginning with that 48.40 position um, at or below 48. So I'll be ra rather um, aggressive with that selling as well because I get the feeling that we might bounce around within some range um, rather than experience a dramatic fall as I had been expecting. I could be wrong and we'll see. Um, I'm not going to be selling right at the open or anything like that, so I'll give it a chance. But um, yeah, I'm not going to be I'm not going to be holding out for a big move because I no longer have confidence that we're going to get a big move, unless of course there's some sort of news catalyst, you know, such as the OPEC compliance stuff coming back next week or or something along those lines. Um, yeah, the the rig count at Baker Hughes stuff today. Um, you know they're crediting it, crediting it with some of this movement, but honestly, I I think that it's BS. Um, this movement would have happened regardless, and the Baker Hughes numbers don't ever have any impact, or at least they haven't um, in the past six months or so. Um, but that's that. That's kind of where I'm sitting. That's what I'm doing um, into going into the weekend, and we'll see what Monday brings. Uh, I'd love to see how hear how you guys have uh, finished up the week. You can hit me up down below on the comments on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio trades and charts. And uh, subscribe to stay tuned. Give us a thumbs up and I'll check back with you guys over the weekend for a weekend review. And then again on uh, Monday morning ahead of trading at 930 here on the East Coast. Until then, cheers.